Carl Anthony Towns involved in a minor car accident on his way to the airport Thursday. He is questionable for the team's game against the Knicks tonight. First of all, Pat, we hope you're okay. Sending you our best. Brian, have you heard anything about whether he'll play? I haven't. Uh, he was, he didn't travel with the team to New York, but he got treatment and traveled later. That's worrisome, but man, that's scary. You know, rough weather in Minnesota this time of year. I hope everybody's okay, including anybody else. Uh, I don't think he even have to play the Knicks and I'm going to try to win. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Fair there point. There you go. Steph going to Steph, baby. Steph Curry has hit 23 pointers in his last two games versus the Kings. He's hit a total of 200. 46 three-pointers this season on 45% shooting. Scotty, do you have any advice for the rest of the league the rest of the way on how to guard a Steph Curry three? I do not have any advice on how to guard <laughs> Steph. Man, it took me a whole season to hit 23. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, one game, a whole season. What else? Man, looks good. All right, new leadership. Andre Iguodala was elected first vice president of the NBA Players Union earlier this week. Iggy will replace LeBron, who served that role for the past four years. And then you've got a big younger crop with him. Malcolm Brogdon, Jalen Brown, Bisbeck Biombo, also elected to serve as vice president of the executive committee. They replaced Carmelo, Steph Curry, and Iguodala, who was in that role before his terms expired. Now, Brian, in the past, we did see I don't know, lesser known players, like more role players, serve in the executive committee, which is why it was so notable when Chris Paul, LeBron, Carmelo Steph. decided, Steph decided to say, oh, we're going to take control of the players' union. And you saw in the last CBA negotiation, there was Steph bargained in to help the star players. Are you, what do you think of that fact of going back more in this younger and maybe more role player direction now? Not well, role the player, star players got what they wanted. Different. <laughs> the, Not uh, superstars. The, um, this last CBA was the most friendly to mega star players in 20 years. Yes. It raised the, you know, the, the league had interest in doing it. They didn't just do it on their own, but it raised the maxes. It, it, it enabled you to get paid faster uh, to the highest level. And it, um, you know, was able to create a, a, a raise in the age limit. We longer. Could it was that you could get paid longer. Chris Paul. But I want to point out, in, paid longer. In fairness, not a coincidence. Right, but in fairness, they also took care of the guys at the, at the bottom. They raised the minimums and the rookie scales. So they didn't just only take care of the stars. That said, they took care of the stars right. big time. Right. And now that their work is done. No reason to bother with the meetings anymore. I mean, you live through a lockout. Um, well, what do you think is important to have what kind of players role in? Well, I, I think you have to make the playing field fair for both sides. You're going to have the mega stars, and you're going to have the other players who are below the bar. So I, I think you have to make it fair game. And as you guys said, the mega stars went in and <laughs> made sure that they negotiated the best number. And now I, I think they've sort of made their place in, in the game. So let the little guys try to come up now. Yeah, well, the younger guys. Everyone's got to take a turn with leadership. And by the way, Andre Iguodala, obviously very experienced. And, and a star in his own. Finals own. MVP, all of that stuff. Um, but interesting to see that shift, and it'll come to play in a few years. All right, let's head to Toronto, where the Spurs take on the Raptors tonight. As mentioned, DeMar DeRozan returning to the six for the first time since being the centerpiece of the Raptors' offseason trade for Kawhi Leonard. We expect some nice moments, right? You see him and, and Kyle there, the little bromance. What do you expect, Scotty, for tonight for DeMar? You know, I expect a warm applause from, from the fans. Yeah. I'm sure they hated to see him leave, but um, I, I don't think it's really about him. I think it's really about the season as far as what the Toronto Raptors are going to do. They have to get to the finals or at least to the Eastern Conference Finals to make that trade mm -hmm. look valuable yeah. for them. And uh, it's an important game for the Spurs. They're fighting for the seventh seed, but... This is Mr. Raptor. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So and look, one. the first time these two teams played each other was in San Antonio, which I was glad for because you can get a little tight, right? I think he'll be a little looser now that he's yeah. gotten that out of the way. He'll be in front of his home fans. It'll be great.